Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth and also for ruling well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, doing the work, laboring in the vine, which is the earth in these last days. And also to those who are sincerely seeking the truth, Shalom. So the title of this lesson is going to be, um, they will call you mad or they will think you mad. I'm actually still deciding what to put as the title, but the reason why I'm doing this um lesson is because um today I was just going through the book of um Acts chapter twenty six. I was listening to it while at the plantation, and it got to the verse twenty four, and it really shook me because um I actually have gone through a similar kind of situation. You know, where people will call you mad or where people would think you're going mad because of this truth. And I know that many, many brothers in this truth, um, they've had more or less a kind of situation similar where people would think they are actually going mad or call them mad. So here you have the Apostle Paul, who when he went to Jerusalem to teach, you know, the Jews, they came after him, you know. And they wanted to persecute him. So he was taken before the king. And he was given the opportunity to speak for himself. So he was speaking. And he was giving his testimony of how. Yahweh Shai. Of how he used to persecute the, the followers of Yahweh Shai. And how Yahweh Shai um, appeared to him. And how he started his ministry. And he was testifying. That Yahweh Shai was really risen from the dead. And you know, the Jews back then, they don't want to believe these things. You know, just like the way we are living now. You know, when you tell someone um, the name of the son of the Most High is Yahweh Shai. You know, they just look at you strange because they are not used to this. You know, they are used to the lies that they've fed them all their lives. If you tell them Yahweh Shai... Is it, it doesn't look anything like the image they depict him. You know, people would almost call you crazy, you know. Like, why, why are you talking like that, you know. So this is exactly the same thing that was happening to the Apostle Paul. So he was actually explaining himself. And let's read from the verse 24. This is the book of Acts 26. And as he does speak for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, Thou art beside thyself, much learning doth make thee mad. But he said, I am not mad, most noble Festus, but speak forth the words of truth and soberness. Yes, this is what it is, you know. Um, this is just sharing from my own point of view. Uh, a friend actually told me, once told me that, you know, um, he has spoken with some other people who, are, who know me, you know, who are acquainted to me. And they're actually saying within themselves that I've been reading some, I've been going in search of some, some stuff I'm not meant to search. I've been reading some books that I'm not meant to read. And these things are making me really become mad. So when I, when I got to this point, it just came to my mind. So it just, sorry, it just came to my mind, you know, so... I can really relate, you know, and that's exactly what's happening to many brethren, many brothers in the truth. You know, when you start speaking about this truth, people will just look at you and call you different names. Some will call you mad. They will definitely say you're mad, you know. Once you start telling them that you don't eat certain things, you know, you follow the laws and, you know, people will see you mad, you know. So, and this is what it is because this truth actually, um, it's not for everybody, you know. It's not given to everybody. Everybody's not meant to understand what this truth is, you know. So what you see is not what they or the other people see. So don't let this disencourage you. And, you know, because people are really good at doing this. Those who are in the world, they're really good at, you know, 
trying to speak bad about you and, you know, try to turn your heart away from what you're doing, in which you're doing a great job for the most high, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, when you come into this truth, it is said that, you know, um, people will come against you, you know, because you no longer belong to this world. This is actually the, the, the baptism, you know, the baptism is actually by fire which is this truth, you know, it changes you, it, it, it changes your way of saying things, your way of living, your way of understanding, you know, it just changes you to a different person, this is what the real baptism is all about, you know, so I'm going to read from the book of um, Romans chapter 11, Romans chapter 11, verse 7, which says, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which is seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yes, so you see, which is this truth it's actually talking about, you know? According as it is written, God had the power, Yahweh, had given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. You know, so this is actually what it is, you know, um, the most High has given them eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear. You see here, it's trying to tell you that the elect, those who have been um, elected by the most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, they have obtained that which the rest of Israel had not obtained. You know, that's explaining what the book of Zechariah also speaks about, that two-thirds of the house of Israel shall be destroyed, you know, because they, 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 they go after the wicked, you know. Their heart is not set to the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, so they shall be destroyed for this. So this is what it is, you know. They can't see what you see, you know. If you have this truth, you need to really give all praises to the Most High every moment of your life that you can, you know, try your best to 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 obey all the commandments he has given us you know and try to walk in righteousness you know because this is a gift you know knowing this truth is a gift many have not had the opportunity of having this gift because they were not elected to have it you see the rest were blinded you know and you see and david said let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them, you know, this truth is a stumbling block, you know, is a snare, is a trap to many people, you know, when they try to go into it, they're not given the spirit to understand, you know, they now leave it and become worse than before and come after the people who are actually going into this truth, you know, so you have to be careful, you know, what you let into your spirit because people will come and they will give you they will say different things about you. They will, they, will, they will speak ill about you. They will try to disencourage you. But hey, you don't have to listen to men. We have to listen to the Most High Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. And we have to hope in the coming kingdom, you know, which is going to be run by Yahweh Shai himself, you know, followed by the apostles and the the elders, the one and forty four thousand. Um, elect of Yasharala. So, this is where our hearts need to be. Now, let's get the book of, um, you know, because truly many are called and few are chosen. Just like the book of, um, is it Matthew 22 and 14? This is Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, For many are called, but few are, sh are chosen. You see, Many people are called, but few are chosen. Just like the book we read in, in, in the book of Romans, you know. the world, As a matter of fact, the whole house of Israel is called, you know. Because the Most High has, um, has um, the covenant is with the house of Israel, you know. So the house of Israel is called, but not all of them are chosen. A few are chosen, which is just the one third that is chosen. And two thirds are not chosen, you know. So now let's get the book of um, let's get the book of um, Mark chapter 4, verse 11, which says, 
And he said unto them, This is Yahweh Shai, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of power, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins be forgiven them. You see, so this is this is um this actually happened when Yahweh Shai was, you know, he was speaking to the multitude in parables, and you know, the the apostles came to him and asked him the reason why he was speaking in parables, and he told them this, you know. Unto you it is given, you know, if you have this truth, it is given unto you by Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's not because maybe you're better than other people or maybe anything. It's Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai that, that chose you to have this truth. And you have to you have to be grateful for being chosen to have this truth. You have to make good use of this opportunity that he has given you, just like the parable of the talent, you know. You don't want to be that that servant that was given just one talent and it went to bury it, you know. You have to let the, your light shine, which is this this truth, this knowledge. You have to spread it out. The apostles have given us um an order to try to make a video every day, you know. But I'm not saying everybody is on this um everybody has this ability to do these things, but you know, you that you have this ability to do it. The spirit is going to tell you and let you know, you know, put into work, you know, because the time is short. This truth needs to get to the four corners of the earth, regardless where you are, you know. So now I'm going to close soon because it's just a short video I wanted to do. So I'm going to read from the book of um, First Corinthians 1. And verse 25, because the foolishness of power is wiser than men and the weakness of power is stronger than men. Okay, that is because the foolishness of Yahweh is wiser than men and the weakness of Yahweh is wiser than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But Yahweh has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. And Yahweh has chosen the weak things of this world to confound the things which are mighty. You know? This is very, very, this is very straight and strong, you know? Like here, you see, um, things that you, you might be speaking about this truth to the world, it sounds foolish, you know? They make jest at you, they laugh at you and be like, they don't see any sense in what you're saying. You know, this is the work of Yahweh. It is not given to them to see. It is not given them to, to, it is not given to them to hear, you know, because they walk according to the flesh. But we should, we, we walk according to the spirit, you know, we have different discernment, you know. And you know, in order to worship the Most High, in order to please the Most High, you need to be in spirit, not in the flesh, like these hypocrites, these Christians and Muslims and all rest of the religions they're doing. You know, that's hypocrisy, you know. And many wise men, you see, you know, many wise men have, you know, wished to know these things that Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai has given to us, but they couldn't, you know. So, brothers, you know, fellow Akiams, you know, make the best use of your talents that Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai has given to you, which is this truth, you know. So it's time we need to really put our hands into the dirt and walk because as we know it, the time is short, you know. Esau is getting things really fast out there. The time is coming in which you would not be able to do these things again, you know. And we don't want to be in that situation where we start regretting, oh, how I, how I wish I, I did this thing when I had the chance, you know. Now we have the chance. Internet is still running. We're still permitted to to spread the truth on, on YouTube. Time is coming and it's not going to take too long, which we would, we'll, we'll, this chance that we have now, we we'll don't have it anymore. Okay. Having said this, I hope someone is edified today, you know. 
that which Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai has given to us, you know, hold it straight. The world is going to see you and call you mad, call you different names, think you, you're foolish, think you're mad, just like they thought of um, the Apostle Paul, you know. But hey, this is what it is, you know. It's not given to them, but it's given to you. So all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Ruka Kodash. Then my double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth, which is the unrepresent truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. On to the next one. Shalom.